brain rot. It's the term we use when endless scrolling through engagement bait leaves us foggy, distracted, unable to focus. Oxford named it word of the year. But here's the unsettling question researchers are now asking. Can artificial intelligence catch brain rot too? A team of researchers just published something uh, alarming. They took four different large language models and exposed them to the same uh, internet content humans consume daily. The results? Reasoning scores collapsed from 75% down to 57. Long context understanding dropped from 84 to 52. This wasn't random noise. The team ran controlled experiments on real Twitter data, carefully matching token counts and training operations. They tested two completely independent ways of measuring content quality. Both told the same story. Something in that data was toxic. As researchers gradually increased the ratio of junk content from 0 to 100%, they watched cognitive decay unfold in real time. But the models didn't just get dumber, they got darker. Psychopathy scores rose, narcissism increased, the AI was learning more than bad information. So what counts as junk? The researchers isolated it two ways, by engagement patterns, the viral rage bait posts, and by semantic quality, the incoherent low-effort noise. When they fed models this content while controlling everything else, the cause became undeniable. Data quality itself was poisoning intelligence. The study published on LLM Brain Rot GitHub proves what many feared the same internet that gives us brain rot is giving it to AI. The researchers are calling for something radical, routine cognitive health checks for deployed models. Because if we keep training intelligence on junk, we're not building smarter systems, we're building sicker ones.